play ball. Hi everyone, Annette here from Ask Me Decor. Welcome back, and if you're new here, thanks for joining me. So yeah, we're in my laundry room today, and no, I'm not going to make you watch me do laundry. We're in the laundry room today because I'm gonna decorate it for summer. And I have a laundry room area, kind of a little mud room area I've tried to create here, and a powder room. This is the spot where I love to get a little whimsy, really put my spin on some decorating that I don't normally do in the whole rest of the house. All right, how do you get whimsical in a laundry room and a powder room? I have the greatest idea for this room. You gotta watch this. What is the quintessential activity for summer? You guessed it. Baseball. We are going to use these items, a few more things, a few red, white, and blue flags to decorate for summer in this room. I cannot wait to show you. It came out so cute. I definitely want to give a shout out to my friend for providing the baseballs. I have two boys. We used to have baseballs all over this house and I think I have like one or two. So I asked my friend who has younger boys if she had any baseballs that she was getting rid of. You know, the beat up ones, the ones that the threads are coming out of, the ones they're not using anymore. And she gave me like 10 of them. So I went crazy with them. I decorated this whole space in a baseball theme and I think it came out so good. This is gonna be a great summer. And Just doing the laundry is going to be fun because of baseball. Okay, I'm gonna start right here on my little locker cabinet. I made this cabinet look like a locker using my Cricut. I'm using a baseball glove and a baseball and these little wooden words that I got at Hobby Lobby a year ago, I believe. They came already painted and I just sprinkle them through the room to give it a little more of the red, white, and blue colors. This is the side of the laundry room that I tried to make look like a little mud room. I have a bench there, my little locker cabinet, and then I have a chalkboard above there that has these really beautiful hooks on it. It's the closest I could get to having a mud room. On my bench, I'm going to put a basket and a throw and some really great looking pillows. And here's Miss Fourth of July. She always comes out for this holiday. I know bears are not in style anymore, but she's so cute. One of my sons gave her to me and I can't help it. I have to use her. So my advice is if you really want to have a mud room, Pick a corner, a small area in any part of your house. You might be able to create one. That's what I did. These baseball gloves I'm using, two of them were actually my husband's dad's. And one of them I got from a, I think a flea market or an antique store a long time ago. I used to have them in my son's room as decor but they're gonna work perfectly today for this laundry room area. I like to put placemats on top of my washer and dryer. Warms the space up a little bit with that fabric. Then I have this little chalkboard and I like to write a little message on that and put it on top of my dryer and create another little vignette area there. Play ball. That seems right for this season. My dryer's pretty good usually at not vibrating too much, so I don't have to worry too much that all of this is going to go rolling off. Everything I usually put on it, I change it up for the seasons, and it usually stays put. 
My washer's the one that usually vibrates enough to send everything flying to the floor. So the only thing I put there is this great looking old laundry basket. I designed the cabinets above the washer and dryer and had a friend build them for me. I left this space on purpose so that I could put something really nice up there. I can change it up for the seasons. Christmas time, it usually looks great. And the rest of the year, I love to use my antique washboards. They go perfectly in a laundry room. Okay, time to move on to the powder room. This is all gonna get set up in there. First, I'm gonna start by putting another one of those really old baseball gloves in this little storage container, along with my tissue box and a really great looking towel that says stars and stripes on it. Once I add some sprigs of greenery to it, I'm gonna add another one of my baseballs and more of those little wooden words. The wall above this area seems like the perfect place to put this banner. I know it says welcome on it, but it reminds me of a baseball team banner and I thought it went really great with the rest of the decor. Here's an area that I debated on doing anything to. At first I left it empty and I don't know, I just wanted to put something else there. Um, call me crazy, but I put my glass snow globes up there. I know, I hope they don't fall. I'm praying they don't fall. One of them represents my older son who's in the military and the other one represents my younger son who played baseball all through little league, junior high, high school. So yeah, they better not fall. This little Americana swag seems perfect for the window. It adds a little warmth to the window and pulls in more of my color and my theme. And last but not least, we have to do the countertop. I started with this glass vase I filled it with some baseballs. I put an American flag in there, a couple sprigs of greenery, and a few more of those little wooden words. I have one more of those little plates that I got with the Johnson Brothers set that we talked about in the last two videos. I'm gonna use it here to put my soap on, and yep, one more little word. And then I used the last one of those great looking old baseball gloves on the other side of the sink. Next, I made this little garland uh, last year for the dining room. And I didn't put it in there this year. I wasn't gonna use it at first. And then I thought, oh, why not? I have it. It has little white banner flags on it behind the little wooden words. And the white just kind of went with the bathroom, with the sink, and the white in the other words. It seemed like it coordinated perfectly for me. Look at these white towels. Everything has a bright white look to it now. The 
this really was a great place to get a little whimsical, use something unexpected. For me, it was the baseballs and the baseball gloves. Nobody's going to expect that when they go to use the powder room <laughs> when they come to visit me. And I love that. I love giving them that little unexpected surprise. So now it's time to take a walk through this area, the laundry room, the powder room. Sit back and enjoy everything I did to make this whimsical and ready for summer. Play ball! All right, that's my laundry room and powder room for 4th of July and all summer long with the baseball theme. I hope you loved this as much as I did. That would be a great time to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, just ask me, and I can't wait to see you in the next video.